Good morning, church. Pray that you're doing well today. Uh, we're studying today from Ezekiel 45. Uh, and this is interesting as we continue with uh, Ezekiel's vision of the temple. And there's some more measurements today. There's a lot of measurements in this section of Scripture. And he's laying out how this temple and the land surrounding it and then the proportion of the land to the tribes will take place. Uh, in verse 1, you shall divide by lot the land for inheritance. This is Israel's land. Now they're being held captive in a foreign land, so they're talking futuristically when they get back home. Uh, you shall offer an oblation unto the Lord, a holy portion of the land. The length shall be the length of five and twenty thousand reeds, and the breadth shall be ten thousand. They shall be holy in all the borders thereof round about. So he says, some of this land is the Lord's, and it's holy land. And he speaks of it, and he speaks later on, uh, a holy portion shall be for the priest. There's going to be a, a portion for the priest outside of this. And then there's going to be some for the prince. And then there will be some later on for the other tribes will be divided up. The Levites are going to have a place for them. Uh, all, all this place is very, very specifically and determinedly determined by the Lord the way they lay this out. And this is different than the temple was before. And we're seeing here that one of the things that Ezekiel is doing, because the land, the people are in captivity. They're in a foreign land. They're being held captive. And their hearts long to go back home. They're homesick. They want to go back home. They want to be back where they belong. And back to the temple. And they know the temple's been destroyed, so they want to rebuild the temple. They want to, they want to get back to glory days. They want to go back to the way it was. And Ezekiel is starting to plant a vision here and is starting to communicate to them. He's starting to help them or to encourage them to transition from Jerusalem, a literal physical place, to a spiritual place, a place where God dwells. They're wanting to go back home. They want to go back to Israel. They want to go back to Jerusalem. They want to build the temple. They want to go back to how it used to be. And he's encouraging them to think more in terms of spiritual. The temple is where God is going to be. It may look different than it did. And, 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 and it will be different than it was. But it's where God's going to dwell. And, he, and, he, and he's trying to help them make the transition that it's where God is, not the physical Jerusalem. And we see that the people failed because when Jesus came and said, the kingdom of God is near you, is come to you, they didn't recognize it. They were looking at Jerusalem, let's, let's get reestablished as a nation, physically, politically. Jesus was talking about the spiritual kingdom. And here we see Ezekiel starting that process. He's trying to help the people understand that the new temple is God, and it's God's presence. And you don't have to go back, and it don't have to be like it used to be, because God can dwell with you right where you are. What about us today? How many times have we said, man, I'd be glad and all this COVID stuff's over and we can go back to the way it used to be? Maybe God's doing something different. Let's get with what God is, where God is, and follow him. I encourage you to come to Revival. God has blessed us with tremendous message, beautiful worship. Come and join us, 6.30. Tuesday night and Wednesday night. Brother Herb and the Bird Songs. God bless you.